Today we're gonna to be covering the best to worst Pokemon sets of 2021. In this video, you're gonna to get to learn and get to know me a little bit better based off my Pokemon card preferences. And I'm curious to hear in the comment section down below, what were your two or three favorite sets of 2021? And one person who likes this video and comments down below, two or three of their favorite sets from 2021 will receive this right here for free, a uh, promo of Misty's Gym Badge. And for each set that we do mention, I'm gonna share with you guys my three favorite cards from the set. Let's start off with my least favorite set of 2021 or the worst set of 2021, which sounds really brutal. It's just something has to be in last place, okay? And last place is gonna go to Battle Styles. My personal three favorite cards from the set would have to be in third place, the Empoleon Alternate Art. The second place would have to go to the Houndoom, the Gold Houndoom that's shiny, which is really cool. And my favorite card from Battle Styles would of course have to be the Alternate Art Sleeping Tyranitar, which we actually pulled on the channel. So number five, if you've guessed correctly, is the set Chilling Rain. Chilling Rain is easily one of my favorite sets of the year. And honestly, I, I really like a lot of these sets that came out this year. It's really unfair and hard to rank them. You have a lot of great alternate art cards in this, including the alternate art Shadow Rider Calyrex. This set did bring a lot to the trading card game in terms of the meta changes. My three favorite in order would have to go to the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX alternate art in third place. In second place, we're gonna give it to the Galarian Slow King V single strike alternate art which looks really really trippy and my favorite card from this set would have to be the alternate art galarian moltres now on to our set taking fourth place it's a set with over 190 pokemon cards over 100 shiny pokemon cards and more than 30 pokemon v and v maxes we of course are talking about shining fates the set that came in like a monster hurricane at the start of this year when the prices on products were at a pinnacle man i remember buying uh shining fates like crobat box Boxes and Dragapult boxes for $150 each. Ooh, that was brutal. And now they were like $65. So it's like, it really shows you how much has changed over the last year. Now, Shining Fates did have a bunch of cool, amazing rares. So I'll have the amazing rares on screen right now. Now, I really, really love Shining Fates. I love the fact that every single pack, no matter what, has a chance at getting something cool and shiny inside of it. I love sets like that, where, you know, if you get a green code card, you're not instantly heartbroken. And the fact that you can get a Charizard in it is really nice too. Charizard was the big driving force for this. This. However, there's just so many great cards in the set as well. With that said, my four favorite Pokemon cards from Shining Fates is going to include one of the promos, would have to be the Dragapult VMAX from that special box, the Black and Gold Eternatus VMAX, along with the uh, Baby Suicune. I'm a huge fan of that Suicune, and the Shiny Charizard VMAX. All right, let's see if you guys can guess our number three set in my rankings. It is Fusion Strike, one of the uh, most recent Pokemon sets out there. Actually, it is the most recent uh, set out there. And I have a lot more Fusion Strike to open up on this channel. And by the way, I do have like dedicated opening playlists for all of these sets. So I'll leave them linked down below if you guys wanna see me opening up certain cards, certain products. So yeah, I absolutely love Fusion Strike. There's so many fantastic cards in the set. I also have a bunch of them for sale, like sealed products on my website. So if you guys wanna check it out, sneakertalktcg.com. Now the problem with Fusion Strike, if you're actually a collector and trying to rip packs is there's so many cards, like there's genuinely so many cards to over 260 it is literally the biggest pokemon set of all time which is really daunting if you're trying to hunt down a very specific card and even more scary if you're trying to complete a master set with fusion strike being as large of a set that it is it also became the set that pokemon used to dump a bunch of other cards that never got released in the sword and shield era before we jump into next uh next year or th like this year's set coming out brilliant stars so we saw pokemon release like the alternate art espion vmax in here randomly along with some other couple random stuff which uh released at a completely different like era of time in the japanese trading card game so my five favorite cards from fusion strike would have to be the alternate art greedent v we also have the celebi v alternate art which was a promo over in japan mu v max i actually prefer the uh the mu v max regular version compared to the alternate art and then we also have the genesect alternate art with the break dancing uh, going on and actually we'll make it six cards instead of five since the set is so huge i also love the Italian VMAX alternate art with him at the very top of the sniper tower. I love using snipers in a lot of FPS games. So um, yeah, I have I have a special spot for Italian VMAX. And my favorite card from Fusion Strike would have to be the alternate art Gengar VMAX. This thing is hilarious and uh 
kind of creepy too, but kind of badass at the same time. On to number two in terms of the best set of the year, in my opinion. This one might be number one for some of you guys, so I'm curious to hear your rankings. Of course, comment down below for a chance at that Misty promo card, what your favorite two sets or two or three sets were from this year. As far as the description goes for this set that Pokemon gives it, it says it has over 200 Pokemon cards included with 18 powerful V Pokemon and 15 powerful VMAX Pokemon. Dragon type Pokemon return with a new look. And of course, the most important thing with every set, 24 new trainers along with a new special energy. We're of course talking about the set Evolving Skies. Another incredibly, incredibly well-received set by the Pokemon company. A lot of people love the set and they're gonna continue to open it for years and years. You of course have the powerful draw power of Rayquaza, or not the draw power, but the powerful hype that is Rayquaza, bringing in a lot of Rayquaza fans to buy the set. And then you also have all of the evolutions as well. Put them in one set together and you have a guaranteed bang of a Pokemon set. My three favorite cards would have to be the Umbreon V alternate art, the Dragonite V alternate art, and last but not least, the Rayquaza V alternate art with the trainer in the background. On to the final set, my number one favorite set of the year for Pokemon in the year of 2021. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna describe it real quick, but you can probably guess what it is if you've uh, done the math already. But our number one set's uh, description according to Pokemon is it has four Pokemon V and two Pokemon V Max, 25 classic Pokemon TCG cards and more than 45 cards in total with no flex about how many trainers or special energies are or are not in the set. So our number one set of the year is going to go to Celebrations. With it being the 25th anniversary of Pokemon in the year of 2021, this was a no-brainer to include as our number one set of the year. There's so much to look forward to and love in this set if you're opening it up. Uh, it's always a pleasure opening up the cards and getting a classic collection card from it. The Elite Trainer Boxes are also a fantastic value with 10 booster packs inside along with five regular mainline sets as well. So if you love opening packs, like celebrations is just such a fun experience. With that said, if you guys are trying to buy any sealed Pokemon cards, again, check out your boy's website, sneakertalktcg.com, where we're also giving some free bonuses in every order worth five to $15. So my favorite cards from celebrations would have to be the golden Mew, which we actually pulled from my very first pack of celebrations. And what a moment that was. That was just incredible. Link down below, card pop up on screen right now. Next up would have to be my starter Pokemon of choice. We got Blastoise. I love me a shell shocker. Uh, I love I love this turtle man. It's my favorite starter Pokemon of all time. We also have uh, Charizard, of course. Charizard, another fan favorite. Like he's up there on the Mount Rushmore Hall of Fame for Pokemon, along with Umbreon Gold Star. This Umbreon Gold Star is so so sick. I'm absolutely a huge huge fan of it. We've actually pulled two of them from the exact same kind of Pokemon product. And my last favorite card to mention for celebrations would have to be the Mew EX. I'm a huge fan of EX cards. I really wish they did a Charizard EX from Fire Red because I. I love that card. But hey, I love Mew and this Mew EX is a beautiful, beautiful card. That's not to mention all the amazing promo cards that also came out with celebrations like the Gold Star Greninja that comes in every ETB. We also had those three really cool cards that came in the collector's chest. Enter the giveaway, comment down below your two or three favorite sets from the Pokemon releases this year in 2020 or last year in 2021. I'll see you guys in my next video.